Ginka is one of the most anticipated visual novels of this month, and there's a lot to tell about Front Wing's latest title. That's why I made this video to get you up to speed with all the information you need to be ready for its release. Without further ado, let's get started. Let's start with some context. Frontwing, a company founded in 1999, is known primarily for its visual novels, including masterpieces like The Foot of Grisaia, A Tree, My Dear Moments, and Island. Some of these extremely popular visual novels even received anime adaptations, although some may argue that the quality of these adaptations is subpar, which is understandable when compared to the visual novels. However, let's not digress. Ginka, one of Frontwing's upcoming visual novels is the subject of this video. It was first revealed at the Bushirod conference of summer 2023. Let's recall that Bushirod has acquired half of Frontwing's shares, making Frontwing a subsidiary of Bushirod. Bushirod is one of the leading publishers of Trojan Card Games and the major producer of anime series and video games. So being featured in Bushirod's conference alongside other announcements like Goblin Slayer Another Adventurer, Nightmare Fist, and Mushoku Tensei Jobless Reincarnation Quest of Memories undoubtedly helped the front wing market their games. One of the first revealed elements about Ginka is its audio. The opening song, entitled Star Trail, is performed by Ikumi Hasegawa, who is also the voice actor for Ginka. You may know her for playing Arcuid Brunstud in Tsukime, a piece of Blue Glassman, and Melchi Blood type Lumina, and Vladilena Milize in the excellent anime 8686. She plays the roles of cold characters. <laughs> And from what we can hear in both the trailer and the opening, she perfectly plays a Ginka as she sounds quite distant. I really like those types of voices as they bring a ton of maturity in a medium where a lot of high school students are the main characters and we definitely need it. The music is done by Fuminori Matsumoto. If you're not familiar with Matsumoto's style, his discography is very diversified from the atmospheric tones of World End Economica. Passing by the dynamic pieces from Grisaia Phantom Trigger. the undisturbed music of Wonderful Everyday. He works hard and takes care to draw inspiration from other cultures to mix it with Japanese culture. For example, in an interview issued by Frontwing about Ginka's development, he said that for one of the background music pieces used in the summer festival scene, he hired an Irish professional whistler for the main tune that goes to show how open-minded and dedicated he is toward creating the most original pieces of music. I'm looking forward to listening to his music when the game releases. The art has been made by Yusano, who is known for his work in A Three My Dear Moments, which features wonderfully made and detailed backgrounds that mix 3D and 2D elements and expressive character sprites. From what I can see in the trailer of Ginka, the CGs will be even prettier as the artist has managed to hide the 3D aspect of them, which was slightly too present to my liking, making them a bit too realistic. I think what contributes the most to this is the overlay of the glow effect Yusano put onto his artworks, which makes them look like anime-like scenes. This look really dreamy and I can't wait to see them myself when I play the game. The 
The story is written by Kono Astra, the main writer of If My Heart Had Wings and A Three My Dear Moments. Kono Astra is known for writing natural and fun characters and creating detailed and well thought out world buildings. One thing we can be sure about him is a good management of impactful and emotional scene appearances as this writer is good at timing those and it makes you burn those scenes into your mind. As of Ginka's story, it is a vision novel about a boy named the Aoba Ryusei, who loses his childhood friend Shinomiya Ginka during a summer festival. Five years later, he meets a girl who looks exactly like Genka. The girl doesn't remember her name, but she recognizes Ryusei and loves him. Ryusei is happy to see her, but he can't help but feel uneasy about the mysterious circumstances surrounding her. The girl doesn't seem to have aged a day. It's up to the player to discover the truth behind this nostalgic and peaceful encounter. Most Kono Astra synopsis sound quite simple by ear, but he always gets to pull at our heart strings in one way or another with his talent for writing, so I'd recommend not basing your preconceptions of this game only on the premise. Most front-wing video games are mostly localized by themselves or other publishers like Aniplex, which took care of a tree for the English, Chinese and Japanese localizations. Translations made by either tend to be good as I don't see many criticisms about them online. And from my personal experience, even though I don't speak Japanese, English sentences tend to be good relative to situations, so I trust them for the quality of translation. As for Ginka, localization will be done by Frontwing. Hopefully, they will keep the English version faithful to the original script. So, to wrap things up, I can say that Ginka is likely to be a high quality visual novel, whether it be its visuals, music, or story. Even though we still have to wait until its release to experience it fully, I think we can trust Frontwing to provide us with a wonderful story. Given their experience and track record of releasing good games, all we have to do for now is wait for the release and support their work by buying the game. That's all I had to deliver for this week. I hope this video helped you get a clearer vision of this game and hyped you to consider checking it out. If you want to see all the visual novel releases of October 2023, go check out the video I released one week ago. Thank you for watching and have a great day.